This is a somewhat brief and very delayed tutorial on making animations with any pose animator. Uh, in this demo I'm using a prop and trying to match my animation to the prop. Uh, animations you make might not use a prop but the process is similar. Start by adding the any pose BVH HUD and any pose animator from inventory. Make sure the IndiePose HUD and Animator HUD are on the same channel, and then res a pose stand from the from the HUD. I'll set out a trail bike prop to make a kickstarting animation for it. I'm not a bike builder, so forgive me if this animation looks goofy. I haven't kickstarted a bike in probably 20 years. I'm getting the bike and post stand lined up so I'm facing forward and centered on the bike side to side. I'll start by creating the first pose with both hands on the grips and feet on the pegs. I've tilted the whole avatar forward to match a typical riding position. Since I haven't recorded my first frame, I can move the whole stand, the whole pose stand around to get the avi closer to the handlebar. Once you start recording frames, don't move the pose stand. The bike hand pose should work well for this animation. Now it's just a matter of moving the joints around until I get uh, the AVI into the pose that I want. This next step is really only needed for vehicles, especially low riding vehicles. Avatars have, a, have an invisible bounding box around them. This box is what keeps you from falling through the ground or floors, or keeps you from walking through walls. The problem is that if you sit on a vehicle with a really low seat, that invisible box will push the vehicle up into the air. So to combat that, we make the animation start up high and move the avatar down. The invisible box stays up in the air away from the ground. To fix it, we can raise the avatar up one meter, set that as the hip height, and then drop the avi right back down one meter. Again, this is only needed for low riding vehicle animations, not for typical animations. 
I'm going to set a name for this animation. Uh, it'll be used when the animation is saved later. I think this will work for the first frame. Click record on the animator HUD to add this to the animation. give the hand some amount of animation, I'll change the hand pose of the right hand that is coming off the grip. Since I'll be moving the whole avatar up during the animation and trying to keep the feet and hands in place, I need a reference to use for the hands and feet. Obviously I can use the handlebars for the hands, but uh, the bike model I'm using is missing foot pegs. So I'll throw out a prim to use as a reference so I can keep my feet on the pegs as I move the rest of the body around. Now continue on with making frames and recording them when they are complete. That's the tedious part.
Since I'm moving up too high to keep my hands on the grip, I can twist the body to extend my arm reach. As you step through the frames you have already added, you might spot something you want to change. Step to that frame, make your adjustments, and click on the Replace button uh, instead of Record to update that frame. At this point, I think I've got the frames recorded for the kickstart done. Since I want to loop the animation to keep trying to start the bike, I need to get the avatar smoothly back to where we started. I could manually create frames to get back there, but that's a good case to use tween. Tweening, or creating between frames, is done by going to the frame before where you want the new frame. And then, in this case, it is the, the last frame we have made so far. Clicking on the Suggest Tween button doesn't record the frame, so if you like the, the frame that it comes up with, make sure to click the Record button to add it to your animation. To slow down the return to the first frame, I'll do another tween. Looks like the tween frames didn't keep the hands on the handlebar. I can make some minor adjustments to the tween frames and use the replace frame feature to update just the frame in the sequence. strange to have the avatar just keep kicking without a pause in between. So I'll go back to the first frame and use the main menu button of the top HUD to get to the memory options and save this pose. You could just as well use uh, the save to local clipboard, but uh, we'll use the Save to cloud memory.
Now I can jump to the end of the animation and reload the first frame pose that I just saved. I'll just record it a few times to extend the time between kicks in the animation. Also note, you can drag the diamond on the timeline bar in the middle of the animation HUD to change where you are in the animation. I've already experimented with this animation and found that it looks about right at 6 frames per second, so we'll change, change it from 2 to 6. Now would be a good time to save the animation, so you can recall it later if you want to make changes. Finally, we can save the BVH file in preparation to turn around and upload it back into Second Life, so it shows up in our inventory. Take note of the suggestions on the web page. They will help you get uh, smooth loops in looped animations. That's really important for things like walking animations. At this point you can hop off the pose stand. I'm gonna fly uh, just because this animation uh, drops down when it plays because it's for a low riding vehicle. Now it's time to try uploading the animation and see how it looks. If you still have the web page open where you downloaded the BVH file, you can look back on it for the suggestions to use in the animation upload window. I'm increasing the priority to 4. If this were an animation to be used in an AO, uh, it might be better to use 3. Set the loop in to the value suggested on the web page. The ease in value isn't too critical but it helps with really low frame rate animations to hide the lack of movement that happens when low frame rate animations are first started. You can also select a hand pose here uh, to use for the old non-bento avatars. Um, fist is probably about as close as we can get for the, for the old non-bento hands. Well, if you're happy with the preview, you can click to upload the animation. Now that it's in inventory, we can open it and play it and see how it turned out. Well, it's nothing like a fluid motion capture, but for not having to leave SL, it'll do.